everyone welcome back to my channel in this week's video I'm going to be sharing three simple veggie recipes that are a bit more protein conscious um, I feel like protein can be a bit of a buzzword a bit of a trend word often associated with fitness building big muscles that kind of thing but um, obviously in reality in the most basic form we all need protein in our diet good for our bones good for our hormones good for our skin so many benefits. Of course, as a vegetarian or a vegan, we need to be a little bit extra conscious about how we get our protein in. Um, so I'm hoping in sharing these three recipes, I can give you a bit of inspiration. So I'm gonna start with a Caesar salad, which is perfect for making in bulk or having for lunch, keep it in the fridge for a few days. And the main protein source comes from these delicious crunchy chickpeas, um, which sort of act as your croutons. So you'll probably want to prep your chickpeas a little bit ahead of time, but it's super simple. All you need to do is give your chickpeas a good old rinse under some cold water, and then spread them out in a baking tray, drizzle over some olive oil, salt, pepper, and then I also have this tandoori spice mix to hand. Um, so I just sprinkled over a little bit of that, but you could also do cumin, paprika, you name it, that kind of thing, just something to give them a bit of flavor. And then you'll want to bake them at around 200 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes until they are lovely and crispy. So now it's time to prep our Caesar dressing. I'm gonna be adding everything I've got here to this blender. So we've got some cashews, maple syrup, miso paste, mustard, some garlic, and some lemon juice and you'll also want to add some olive oil and some water to thin out the dressing a little bit and some salt and pepper of course um, i actually soaked these cashews for about half an hour in some warm water just to soften them a little bit it's not essential but that's just what i do and this is also the kind of recipe that some people would probably add capers or caper brine to uh, but i'm really not a fan of capers so i will be skipping that step now it's time to build the salad i've got our lovely kale leaves here i'm gonna add the peas i'm gonna add the avocado and drizzle over our lovely caesar dressing before finishing off with our crunchy chickpea croutons Next up we have a spicy tofu bowl which is going to take you around half an hour to put together. I have some kind of grain tofu bowl most weeks because it's just such a good way to clear out the fridge and you can have it hot or cold. So grain of choice for me today is quinoa but of course you could use whatever you have in the cupboard at home, rice, lentils, couscous, bulgur wheat, that kind of thing. And the reason I love tofu so much is because not only is it a good source of protein, it's also just what I call a sponge for flavour. It will just pretty much absorb any seasoning flavouring that you put with it, as long as you've squeezed out all the water. So you're going to want to cut your tofu into these sort of thick slabs so they can absorb all the sauce, and then just transfer them into a baking tray ready to add the sauce to. I've just fried off some garlic in some rapeseed oil, and I'm just adding it to this bowl, and then I'm gonna add all my other ingredients for the sauce. We've got soy sauce, we've got rice vinegar, we've got a vegetarian oyster sauce, we've got some ketchup, and we've got our delicious crunchy chili oil. We're just gonna mix all that together until you've got a nice thick marinade, perfect for the tofu and perfect for the cabbage. I've got a cabbage here and I'm going to pretty much repeat the process. I'm going to chop this up, I'm going to coat it in the marinade and then I'm going to roast both baking trays for around half an hour. Tofu's cooking, the cabbage is cooking and I'm now just going to prep my final few little garnishes to go with this. So I've got some tomatoes here, I've got some leftover avocado and I've got some coriander and then I'm also going to chop up a few spring onions and actually mix those into the cabbage just before it's finished and a big squeeze of lime as well and that will be delish. By the way, if you like this kind of video, please do let me know. I would love to hear from you. You can leave me a comment, you can leave me a thumbs up. Of course, you can subscribe if you're new and you can also find me on Instagram and TikTok where I've probably got hundreds of recipes on there as well.
last recipe also uses chickpeas as the star of the show. I'm gonna make a lovely sort of summery chickpea and tomato stew. I've literally been obsessed with this recipe. I've probably made it three times in the last month or so. Such a good weeknight summer dinner because it's pretty quick to put together. You'll definitely have leftovers. And although it's served warm, it's actually pretty light, especially with the nice sides that we're gonna put with it. So let's get started. So let's heat some olive oil in a nonstick pan and you want a fairly low to medium heat because I'm going to slowly cook down the tomatoes for 10 or 15 minutes until they're kind of blistered and just starting to break down. Next I'm going to add a couple of cloves of crushed garlic and some salt and just continue to fry that off for a couple of minutes. So now it's time to add the chickpeas. Don't throw away the water, add in the water too, and then chuck in a stock cube and leave everything to bubble away until the sauce is reduced. While our chickpeas are bubbling away for 10 minutes, I'm gonna make a quick garlic yogurt dip to go on the side. Literally just Greek yogurt, salt, garlic, dill, and a squeeze of lemon juice, and you're good to go. But when your chickpeas are almost ready, you wanna add a couple of tablespoons of harissa paste, a big handful of spinach, and a big squeeze of lemon and just let that cook down for a final couple of minutes. And then to serve this up, I've made some simple lemon and coriander couscous, and I've got some warm flatbreads on the side, and this is honestly such a delicious dinner to have. 